Hello everybody, I just opened the Transperth website right now and realized that the changes for the purple cat are now published. So we're just going to make a quick video on that by just recording my computer screen. Not a usual video of mine, but let's just take a look at this and see the reaction to it. So right here we have three new articles on the Transperth website. The first one is of course the introduction of the purple cat which says now from the 27th of February, Sunday, like I said in the Perth Cat Changes video, the Purple Cat will be introduced and operate every 10 minutes during the day, every 15 minutes in the evening, and every 30 minutes later at night. And then Saturday, Sunday, 15 minutes day, 30 minutes night. Um, and it's going to depart from stand B5 at Elizabeth Key. So let's take a look at the map with the new cat timetable that they've made. All the information is also listed here. And then we scroll down and look, they have completely redone how they list the stops yet again. The old version only la lasted two months since the 5th of February changes and now it's back to a new format. Showing the routes down here, that stop at the stop and then all the new names. Here they are, Altram Street, Thomas Street, Hammersley Street, Haightsbury Road, Nicholson Road, Rockaby Road, Onslow Road, Hospital Avenue North, Queen Elizabeth II Medical Centre, Perth Children's Hospital, Monash Avenue, Hampton Road North, Carell Street, Hampton Road South, UWA, UWA Guild, UWA Business School, Capron Street, Broadway Fair North, Edward Street, Cooper Street, and then just all the way back. Mostly the same, the whole way. Um, and here's the map with the new purple cat along here with lots of new stops along Thomas Street past the hospital and down to UWA with three cats now operating between Elizabeth Key bus station and Fraser Avenue. So that's that but along with all these purple cat changes if we go back we are now going to get western suburbs service changes of course so as you can see with the launch of the purple cat these routes will undergo changes to reduce duplication along the routes and remove trips with poor patronage. Um, so route 23 is not changing much. 24 is getting a few less services. But here route 25 will no longer operate services to Perth and will now terminate at Shenton Park station which means that Shenton Park will now have a new regular bus service there. Uh, and yes, yeah, so it won't serve any of these stops anymore. So we can take a look at the new map for Route 25. It is now going to go up here and then straight to Shenton Park instead of going to Perth, how it used to do along like Hay Street or something. And yes, let's go back. And also, Claremont Station is now going to get proper bus stands. As you can see with each one of these, it says like at the bottom, they will depart from, wait, not that. Sorry, at the top it says it. Here it says, these there will also be stand changes at Claremont, see below, and then if you go to the bottom, it shows you stand 1, stand 2, stand 3, stand 4, stand 5, and stand 6, so 6 stands. Oh yes, and if you notice there, there's now a big change with the 998 to 999, as they will now be operating via Claremont Station instead of just bypassing it along Sterling Highway, which is great. Um, and other big changes include the R route 103 now terminating at Elizabeth Key bus station instead of going to East Perth. So here's the map for that, 26 and 103, and then just go down there and terminate. Sorry, it's sideways on this map. Um, and what else do we have? Route 27 is now moving to a new terminus in East Perth on Terrace Road instead of at the Wacker. And Route 26 is going to operate less services due to the Purple Cat introduction. Yep, that's mainly all the changes that are happening. But it's a good change now. So I'll make sure to go and film the first Purple Cat service to ever operate on that day. Oh, and if you notice, look here at the side. All the train lines are currently red because there's some large power outage across the city today. So it says all train services are delayed due to a technical issue. And if we go on live train times, there are some crazy delays, like at Cannington Station. 30 minute delay on this Armadale Line C pattern service. 
or at Cockburn Central Station. We have a 22 minute and 17 minute delay on two series towards Mandurah. Crazy disruptions right now. Yeah, so that's that. We saw that, we saw that. Oh, and also, Perth Cat services will now no longer stop automatically at all stops, and they're now going to be fitted with bells and just be like a regular bus service where you have to hail it to get on and ding it to get off. So that's also a big change that you need to be aware of. All right, that's that. I just wanted to show you the new changes, make you aware of them. Uh, yep, so on the 27th of February, that's happening. And I really like this, a brand new cat for Perth and improved bus network with stand change, with new stands at Claremont and the 998 and 999 going there. Very cool. Oh, and also, if you haven't heard yet, the Midland Line is going to have a full line three day closure as part of Metronet's Forest Field Airport Link project. So from this Friday until Sunday, just three days, Midland Line services will be cancelled and there's going to be normal replacement routes, although there'll be dropping off at Yellowcat's Pier Street stop around there at the Wellington Street, Barrick Street or Beatford Street bridge intersection. And there's also going to be a Route 901 operating between Perth Busport and uh, uh, Bassendine train station. Yep. So that's that. Okay, thank you for watching. Just a quick video to show all the new changes. And I'll make sure to film them once they're in operation. Bye. Thank you.